Hi, I'm Bill from Permajet, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the 3D capability of the WideTech flatbed art scanners. Today I'm demonstrating on the WideTech 25, that means the bed is 25 inches across, but the same functionality is also built into the WideTech 12 as well, which is only 12 inches across. The 3D capability of the scanner allows the user to capture textured surfaces, for example, textured art papers, canvases, or materials that aren't perfectly flat to the substrate, for example, oil or acrylic on canvas. In some of the instances today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating on some other materials as well. The 3D capability is enabled by two 12 inch CCD cameras. These are designed to be able to capture the depth of an image. Two banks of LEDs are designed to illuminate the surface as evenly as possible. Each bank is 12 inches across, but this scanner is 25 inches across. The scanner's software enables anything that is wider to be digitally stitched together through the center. So I'm gonna start by scanning these two textured art papers. So now I've scanned both those images in and brought them into Photoshop. I'll zoom in first on the artist's watercolour. You can very clearly see the texture and surface of the paper. If I come across the watercolour rag and zoom in further, you can see even with a very delicately textured art paper, the scanner still has the capability to be able to pick up its surface texture. So now I'm gonna do a very quick example of something that isn't an art paper. This is purely obviously to demonstrate the scanner's capability. Again, I've brought those scans into Photoshop. I'll zoom in first on this metal plaque. And even when I zoom in very closely, you can see the very fine detail in the metal work, even to the point where you can start to see the scratches that have been caused on the surface. If I come across to the cotton glove, you can even see the fibers of the glove very prevalently. Now I'm going to move on to something that's a bit more of a mid texture. So this is an acrylic painting on canvas. I'm going to place that down on the scanner's bed. You'll see I'm placing it across the stitching zone where each of the two 12 inch cameras stitch across. Then I'm going to make sure it's completely flat and then place the lid down. So, I've brought this scan again into Photoshop and if I zoom in, it's very clear to see the texture of the acrylic. You can see across the sky and even in the tree where there are raised areas and lower areas. The other benefit of this scanner is that you can actually increase and decrease the intensity of the 3D illumination. That means that you can adjust the scanner when you have something that's more or less heavily textured. So you'll have seen from that last scan that it was perfectly stitched across where the two 12 inch bank of cameras are. For an example, what I'm gonna show you here is how you can actually extend the capability of the scanner to enable you to do more heavily textured prints or um, other pieces of artwork. So, we have to always make sure that the piece of art is completely flat to the glass bed. But in this example, I'm simply gonna place some coins underneath and that's going to raise the substrate off of the flat bed. So now what you'll have seen is that obviously the piece of art is raised away from the glass bed. So you can see what that's done. It's, it's given the stitching software some problems. So you can see this line directly through the middle and it's duplicated as the stitching is not able to work correctly because the piece of art is not completely flat to the glass plate. Everything else is as you would expect. And if I come over here to the coins, you'll see because those are completely flat, the level of detail that's been picked up there. 
there's some clever ways that you can get across this stitching area. And it's a way that we believe we can extend the capabilities of the scanner beyond what the manufacturer might recommend. So for if this was an example where this was a very large piece of art that was heavily textured, what we'd recommend doing is first removing the, uh, removing the lid, scanning the one half, avoiding the stitching area. Obviously, we wanna make sure this is really as flat as possible. So that might mean having someone else holding it, having a little bit of weight on, perhaps with some bean bags. So scanning one half, so we take a 55%, 60% scan from the right, lift it, keep it in the same plane, and then take a sort of 55, 60% scan from the other half. Again, keeping it as flat as possible. You can obviously extend this. You can do, if the artwork is particularly large, four quarters or so on and so on and so on. We then take that back into Photoshop. What we then recommend doing is cropping those down. Give yourself a little bit of border. We then do that with the other side. And save both of those files. We then go to File, Automate, Photo Merge, click Browse, and open up those two crop scans. Leave the layout setting as Auto, and click OK. Okay. Now, Photoshop's worked its magic, and what you can see is we've got the complete scan. Now, if I zoom in, you can see we've still retained all of the texture, and where we've taken and merged both the scans, it's very difficult to see where this has been accomplished. This will actually allows you to do very large pieces of artwork and means that you can do artwork that's particularly heavily textured, but avoiding the stitching area of the two CCD cameras. Okay, so I hope that's given you a good indication of what these wide tech flatbed scanners are capable of and their 3D functionality. If you want any more information or you'd simply like a demo, you can contact us at www.permajet.com or on 01789 739 200. Thanks very much.